Hi everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom, the channel that offers lessons in how to read palms. I'm Misty Cassandria. This is lesson 73, and in this lesson, we will be analyzing the palm of a famous person. Let's see who this person is. Remember I said out of respect, I will not call the person's name, but I will give you as many hints as I possibly can so you'll know who we're talking about. As it says in the sheet to the right of the uh, photo of the palm, it says, this duchess is a member of England's royal family who is married to the next in line to be king of England. I think we all know who that is. Their mother was a very famous, beloved woman, and she was killed while in France in an accident. Okay. So these are the points of interest that I've pointed out for us to take a look at. Handshake, fingertip, lifeline, and headline. Headline and its direction. Index finger and ring finger length. Little finger and ring finger. And the little finger. Well-developed moon amount. Influence lines. Flexible thumb. The angle of the thumb. The length of the thumb. And when we compared it with the index flange. Remember the flange is the section on the fingers. It's like the fingers are separated into section by the indented line there. Okay, let's go with the first one. As I look at this hand, I see that this is a fire hand. A fire hand. And just a little information in case you may have forgotten, the fire hand is somewhat of a competitive hand, keen to initiate events and drive things forward. They tend to go with the program, but they like to be in front, okay? Now, let's take the fingertip. This is a spatula. Look closely at the tip of the finger. You notice it has like a curve at the end. It happens with all of them. Sometimes we see it on both sides. Sometimes we know it, notice it to the left of a finger or it might be a right to the finger. So this is spatulate. If you, just in case you forgot, this is what spatulate looks like. Okay, I'll just remove that. All right. Let's take the next one. Lifeline and headline. At the beginning, they're joined, then they separate. It's a, like a quick separation. So we can say that this lady had a strong mind. She wanted to use it mentally and be independent on her own, but still follow the traits of the family because there's a connection there at the beginning. And the line moves on, and it's moving straight, even though it seems to want to curve. All right? So we've established that. So she's a strong thinking person, practical in her thinking, preferring to focus on things that are factual, other than just opinionated. All right? Now, let's take a look following this outline I have for you. The index finger and the ring finger. We want to establish the length. Now, looking at her hand, it looks like the fingers seem to go in a sway toward the direction of the index finger or the direction of the thumb. Anyway, in that direction. And this is the right hand in standard. All right. So, we always want to figure that out with the length. So we can kind of stand up that ring finger. We'll find it's pretty much the same uh, length as the index finger. The index might be a centimeter or more higher, longer. But when we have it like that so close, we say they both are the same. This simply means that what she uh, put, puts out in public the public sends back to her, or to put it more clearly, 
The public thinks she's fantastic, doing a great job, and she also feels the same way. She thinks highly of herself because the confidence is there. Self-esteem is very strong on this person. All right. Okay, let's leave that and go to the little finger and the ring finger. There seems to be a disconnect because the ring finger is leaning toward what's like the Saturn finger. All right, we all see that. Now we talked about the bending and most time the bending will be at the top flange, but this finger just actually wants to lean over. It's not just bending, it's leaning over. If there may have been a problem with an accident, I'm not aware of it. So in the back of our minds, we kind of take that in consideration, but let's assume everything is okay. But so why is that finger is leaning? When the pe uh, the peacock, or in this case, it is that ring finger, that Apollo finger, when that leans, it means that the person's sense of fun and self-expression is bent by the demands of duty, work, and family. And that fits her very well. Even though she's very independent, very intelligent, would like to express herself because that's natural with the fire sign. She is limited in doing that because of her duties and of course the family. All right, let's go next to the little finger. The little finger is standing tall, but there is like a disconnect. So that only can mean that all things being equal, that she is an independent worker. Whatever she does, she can handle it by herself without anyone saying you should do it this way or do it that way. She understands protocol and she can do it herself. Moving right along, notice that her lunar mount is well developed. And that lunar, remember that deals with creativity imagination, as well as intuition. Her lower part, which is the intuitive part, dips a bit, and that indicates strong intuition. Strong intuition. All right? So she's very well developed. Even though her headline thinking is more practical, like facts and figures and so on, rather than dealing with creative items, she just has a natural tendency toward that. So that's well developed. Let's go to the next one. Influence lines. She does have them. And you know, when influence lines are there, it tells us that there are people in her family that do influence her. And that's kind of obvious, I think. Okay. Now let's take the thumb. The thumb angle, because of that curve at the thumb, I would say she's a flexible person. To what degree this flex comes, since her thumb sits low, it doesn't sit way up. I say that she can be very flexible when it comes to generosity. All right? And the, uh, the, uh, com the length compared with, or rather the angle, the angle. That was the one I just talked about, how flexible she is. But when we get to comparing the length of the thumb, the tip of the thumb to the index finger, you see where that red mark is? This shows that she is a natural leader. She's the kind of person that takes risks and could sit behind a desk and take charge. She's able to do that because that's the thumb by it reaching that high up to toward the end of the um, bottom flange on the index finger that she is able to handle it very good. Her lines are well defined. I'm talking about the major lines. I don't see an issue there. I do see a little bit of um, a fake line, just like an indentation. 
but not much. So I can assume she was destined to do what she's doing now in this environment. So it looks like she's doing quite well. I don't see any issues in the hand. And as I tell you with all of the photos, I do not know when this was taken. But that's her hand. It looks like she's doing quite well, quite well. Uh, there is a little, I one final thing I want to say about the thumb. Uh, the thumb, even though it's flexible, the top part action, which is well balanced with the ideas, shows a little stubbornness. So I, she's sort of limited. I don't know if that can come forth. And there is also an indication she has a little temper. Uh, just because a person has the mark, we don't know what happened in the, um, the other hand and whether she's left-handed or right-handed. So we can see whether that's under control. But because the land line doesn't stand out, that seems to be more a crease there. I would say it's in control, but a little stubbornness. All right? Okay. That's our lesson for today. I hope you understood it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a thumbs up. Be sure to share and be sure if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you have, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Well, as usual, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay happy. Until next time, next week. Bye.